Dr. Ray, and I would like to uh, just take a minute to talk to you a little bit about the interosseous uh, nerves, the anterior and posterior interosseous nerves that they talk about in grants, and hopefully you'll get to see in uh, the laboratory. Uh, and so we have uh, two, they um, are going to come off of interosseous nerve, anterior, and it will be in the anterior compartment, and then we have a posterior interosseous nerve that will be coming off of the radial nerve. And so what happens is that the median nerve will give a branch in the forearm after the elbow, and uh, that branch will be the anterior interosseous nerve, and it's going to go to the deep muscles and of the forearm that Dr. Nagat talked to you about in lecture today. And so uh, there are three muscles that this nerve specifically innervates. And so the median nerve continues and it's going to go down right into the hand after it goes to the carpal tunnel. And so there are ends up being three muscles that are innervated very specifically by the anterior interosseous nerve. So one of them um, is the flexor digitorum profundus. So when he talked about how half of this muscle is innervated by the median nerve, is actually more specifically innervated by the anterior interosseous branch of the median nerve. And then another muscle that he talked about is the flexor pollicis longus. He talked about that muscle being a deep muscle in the forearm and extending all the way to the end of the pollicis. And um, so that muscle is also very specifically innervated by the anterior interosseous nerve. And the last muscle is the pronator quadratus. So, and I hope, I hope that you get to see all three of these muscles and you find this branch coming off the median nerve in lab. Now, the posterior interosseous nerve, although it has sort of a similar name, is going to be uh, coming from a completely different source, is actually going to come from the radial nerve. So after the radial nerve um, uh, come, passes the elbow, it's going to split into a superficial branch. And the superficial branch is going to run um, branch of radial. It's going to run underneath to deep to the brachioradialis muscle. And it's only cutaneous, so um, that little... Uh, um, dorsal aspect of the lateral aspect of the dorsal part of the hand, that is going to be um, where it's going to terminate. So that's a cutaneous nerve. And the other branch after it divides, we call the deep uh, radial nerve. So the deep radial nerve is going to continue. It does throw some um, muscular branches, some muscles you've already learned that is innervated by radial. So you don't have to know that those are very specifically intermediate by deep radial, but is going to go through the supinator muscle. So the supinator muscle, um, it can be called, it's a little bit controversial whether you call it deep radial or posterior interosseous, you could say both. And I don't think that necessarily we're going to ask you um, to say what nerve uh, very specifically do we call it deep radial. But after it comes, this nerve comes through the supinator, it comes out on the inferior uh, border here of the supinator a muscle, we are going to call this the posterior interosseous nerve. And so this nerve is also very deep. Both of these nerves run very deep next to the interosseous membrane, as the name sort of implies. And um, this nerve is going to um, innervate four muscles. And kind of we talk about those uh, being the isis muscles. So they have uh, isis somewhere in the name. And so he has already uh, introduced all these muscles to you. Um, the first um, uh, muscle is going to be the extensor incis. So that muscle is going to uh, be very deep, and hopefully you get to see that, and it's uh, tendon extending all the way to the second digit on the posterior side. And then the next three muscles, uh, Dr. Nagat talked about how they were very close together, um, and talked about how uh, they do abduction and also extension, very specifically, of the, of the pollicis. And so all of these three muscles um, are going to go to the pollicis, and you're going to see those today. And uh, it's kind of a brevis sandwich. So uh, one of the muscles uh, that's most 
lateral is uh, a longus, the medial one is a longus, and there's a brevis in the center. So that's how they are positioned um, in the forearm. Now, the first one, if you think about what the motion is most lateral aspect of, of the uh, uh, dorsal aspect of the hand, if you had a, a muscle that's most lateral, it, would you extend the pollicis using that muscle or would you abduct it away from the midline? So when you think about that line of pull, um, it actually is the abductor. So the abductor pollicis longus is the one that's most lateral. And then the other two are extensors, extensor pollicis brevis and extensor pollicis longus. So these, these we talk about being the isis muscles because they, they all have uh, that kind of uh, rhyme sort of throughout their names and so help you hold on to it. So these are the muscles that are innervated um, not just by the, not the median nerve per se, but a branch of the median nerve, the anterior interosseous nerve here, and then these four muscles are not innervated by the radial nerve per se, but they are innervated by the posterior uh, interosseous nerve. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, let, let it, us know. Otherwise, um, I hope you get to see all these nerves in lab and all of these muscles in lab because uh, they're really cool and they're pretty easy to find. Thank you.